Knock it off, Hulk for brains! Man, what a beautiful day! Whoa, watermelon! Makes a watermelon glad to be alive and... Hey, what's that smell? Oh, sweet mother of fruit, it's me! Ah watermelon go boom, am I right? <laughs> wow, watermelon really had a short fuse. <laughs> I hate this holiday. Hey, hey, Nerval, what's with all the patriotic decorations and exploding watermelons? Uh, it's Independence Day, when we humans celebrate the founding of our country by launching explosives into the air till four o'clock in the morning. Wow, that sounds awesome. I wish we fruits had a day like that. We do. Hey, grab a lemon. There's a bird's nest on your head. <laughs> it's not a bird's nest. It's a powdered wig. Tell that to the parakeet. <laughs> Shoot me. Ah, ah, uh, get out of here. Ooh. Are you going to eat those? Nah, you can have them. Thanks. <laughs> Back in the 1700s, our founding fruit fathers wore wigs just like this one. And I wear it every year to honor them. On Fruit Dependence Day. Fruit to what you say? Fruit Dependence Day. It's the most important fruit holiday there is. Huh? Never heard of it. Are you guys for real? Even I've heard of that. Although I do talk to fruit. What is wrong with our educational system that you young whipper citrus don't know your own history? What's a whipper citrus? What's history? What's an educational system? Asked and answered. Sounds like Grandpa Lemon needs to school you guys. School? Yuck! <laughs> My bad. That's all. That's my bad. As the great Benjamin Franklin once said, those things that hurt instruct. Whoa! Was Benjamin Franklin fluent and gibberish? Sure was. Hmm. Think I need to adjust the torque. Ow! <laughs> Mommy. Fruit Dependence Day is when we celebrate the freedom of our fruit nation. The greatest fruit nation that ever existed. The United Fruits of Amerifruit. It all started in England, where fruit was, and still is, used primarily as an underarm deodorant. And worse. Yuck! Uh. Gross. <laughs> and if that wasn't bad enough, the fruits were under the tyrannical rule of weird King George the Grapefruit. King George? More like King Engorged. <laughs> Cause you're fat. I'm not fat. I'm a grapefruit. A fat grapefruit. <laughs> it's funny cause it's true. That's not fat, it's muscle. To prove it, I hereby decree that all subjects must watch me flex 24 hours a day. Guards, block the door. Fetch goats. Ah! <laughs> Horror. It's horrible. Stop. What's he doing? Don't die! Yeah. Oh, oh, the horror! Luke's! That's my limit. Stand oh. there, Hernia! I'm out of here! Hey, no one's guarding the door! Ow. Hey, where'd everybody go? Chasing their opportunity, they headed for the new world! Oh. Oh. survived. I never said it would be pretty. Our history often involves horrible seagull attacks. Stop screaming! So, if everyone got eaten, how did our ancestors get to America? Fortunately, we fruits have a clever survival mechanism. After the seagulls devoured everyone, they flew over this new land and planted the seeds of our forefathers. Stay on target! Stay on target! Oh, oh we're gonna stay. And new fruit land was born from poop. But King George heard tell of the good life the fruits were living in the new world, and he became jealous. Those colonists think they cannot watch me flex and get away with it? Ha! So he put tax on the fruit. Who's your daddy now? <laughs> I don't find it so unpleasant. In the summer of 1776, Orange Washington decided he'd had enough. I've had enough of these tax. As. Yeah. 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 Let's go. 
Let's show King George the Engorge what we think of his tax as. Quick, someone grab a camera and take a picture of me doing this. Cameras don't exist yet. Oh, then we'll do the next best thing. We'll write him an angry letter. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That's stupid. What do you got? King George is a chubby chubby kid. No, that all fruits are created equal. Oh yeah, that's good. All fruits are created equal, except for apples. <laughs> huh? I don't get it. That's because you're an apple. <laughs> Classic orange. <laughs> Many tedious hours later, they had drafted the Declaration of Fruit Dependence. I agree about the apples, but the rest of this document makes my juice boil. Shall we draft a response? No. Send in the vegetables! King George sent his vegetable army to teach the colonists a lesson. <laughs> all got eaten. Are you all done? No. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, now we're done. Please continue, Grandpa Lemon. The colonists knew King George's army would arrive eventually. Oh man, 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 oh man. I'm freaking out. What's the signal again? One if by land, two if by seagull. It's spicy! The bench coats are coming! The bench coats are coming! That was close. And arrived they did! From poop! But Orange Washington and the Minute Maid men, and woman, were ready for him. Ready! Hey! Oh! That is disgusting! Oh, you are kidding me! That is just disgusting! Retreating. Don't be such an apple! The morale is wounded! Now to finish them off! Uh, with what, Fray Tell? Insult bombs! Hey, Fetch Code! I smell victory! No, wait, that's lettuce welting! <laughs> oh, that is low! There's no way you guys are gonna win! You're just gonna art a choke! <laughs> it strikes with vicious fury! And you smell too! <laughs> Cause you're an onion! Uh, it hurts cause it's true! Orange Washington's pioneering insult bomb technique is still used by the military today! Hoorah! And furthermore, your mother is a big fat- Okay, okay, enough! We give up! In 1781, after nearly five years of seed warfare and annoying insult bombs, Cornwallis of Fruit Britain surrendered to General Orange Washington. King George conceded defeat. As a condition of his surrender, he agreed to stop flexing, recognized New Fruitland as a sovereign nation, and agreed to change his name to King and Gorge. Cause he's plump. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Sadly, having neglected his dental hygiene during the Fruitvolutionary War, Orange Washington had to get wooden teeth. Hey, these look nice. Thanks to his heroism in battle, unwavering stand against tyranny, and his ability to touch his tongue to his eye, Orange Washington was swept into office as the first fruit president. I, Orange Washington, do solemnly swear to uphold the office of president. <laughs> and he paved the way for future plant race leaders like Abraham Lincoln and Jimmy Carter. It was a one-term presidency. Wow, I had no idea Orange Washington was so cool. Whatever happened to him? Oh. He was eaten by seagulls. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, I don't want to go to school today. Oh, it's you guys. Could you keep it down? I'm trying to get some shut eye on the pavement in the middle of the daytime, please. Thank you, sweet naughty nectarines. Hey, how do you know so much about history, Grandpa Lemon? Obviously, he was there. <laughs> Cause he's old. Don't be a jerk, Orange. He's old, but not that old. Actually, I was there. I lived every moment. Wait, you mean you're Benjamin Frank Lemon? That makes you over 200 years old. Well, Lemon is a preservative. That and my intense passion for older women. Wow, you're a national treasure. An inspiration to us all. A seagull. What? No, I'm not a. Oh! Hey, 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 hey! That's a dollar. I'm in 
eventually, they get all of us! My country, I salute! No idea. Sorry, Grandpa Benjamin Frank Lemon. We don't speak gibberish. <laughs>